Today, we're going to be covering the new Spike Factory Paragon, and you all know that I'm just so excited for this because Spike Factory is whack, all right? We all know the 555 Spike Factory is pretty bonkers. The, it's pretty bonkers, especially when you can get the mixed combo, right? Because think about it, you have perma spikes, which last indefinitely, so they never basically go away. They're so strong. Then you got the middle path that shoots spikes all over the path, and that just makes it absolutely bonkers. And then you got super mines, which just makes them explode and do tons of damage. And when you put all five of them together, you get the craziest, most bonkers combo of all time. Because that's literally... In the cross path mod, we basically ban it because it's too powerful. It's so powerful that it's not even worth using. So we're going to need to start saving up money if we want to be able to buy this Paragon, which I am just, I am hyped for. I love that you can open and close these umbrellas. I think it's so funny. Just like, boop, 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 boop. The Spike Factory is not a bad first tower to get, but it does cost $1,000. It's an incredibly expensive base tower. I chose this map because I feel like this is the best spot for a spike factory. It's just they have to go around so many different times. You have it kind of right there at the end. So they go around once, twice, three times. Wait, no, it's once, twice, three times. So they go around this one spot so many times. It's the ultimate path. All right, it's the ultimate balloon path. So then it goes around one more time. And then once it has to go all the way around another time, it already has enough time to replenish and put down more spikes. Creates larger piles of spike per shot, which is very expensive, I just realized. That's very expensive. There we go. But it actually, okay, it makes a considerably bigger amount of spikes. So I guess that is very worth it. Do I want to get the white hot spikes? It's doing fine right now. I don't, and we don't need the, the white hot spikes until round 28 anyways. Uh, are we gonna have some troubles here? We might have we might have some slight problems here. No, we just barely. But I need to get white hot spikes because the next round's 28, and the lit balloons are gonna show up. Look, the pineapples are so yeah. Pineapples are really strong. They're they're just big strong. Will I be able to deal with the Moab? Probably not. So let's go ahead and start getting a couple of other spike factories. I guess we'll put one we'll put one over here. And this will have the Moab Shredder. Super hard, rending, engine-driven, razor, shred, Moab-class balloons. And then bigger stacks, and then white hot spikes. And that should be able to do some extra damage. And this is going to allow us to get some pineapples up in here, right? And they have to go buy it twice anyways. I, this is just such a good map for spike factories. All right, long life bananas, valuable bananas. We need the Paragon. What round do you think we're going to be able to get to? These Paragons have been pretty darn crazy the last one was bananas on and that gave us a million dollars every round so this one should be pretty pretty crazy i'm tempted to put one more right here at the end just in case and then we do the long life spikes right so we do this and then we do smart should put it yeah smart's gonna put them all the way back there and then long life spikes deadly spikes oh my gosh that absolutely shredded the moab Holy cow, I did not know that Moab Shredder did that much damage against it. I kind of want to get an Alchemist. I'm going to put an Alchemist down right here, and I just want to get stronger stimulant and faster throwing. And that way I can put faster production on this, so it, this way it can still pop lead balloons. All right, now we got to start saving up. We're going to be fine for the next couple of rounds. I don't think we have anything to worry about. So I'm just going to save up and buy the Banana Research Facility. Because, look at these guys. We don't... I'm not... Okay, I guess I should be a little bit worried here. This is spooky. All right, banana research facility. Now we're ready to go! These guys don't stand a chance. They think they're ready, but they're not. There we go. Spiked mines. Now we got cooked pineapple. And look at that. Cooked pineapple does so much damage. All right, next one. 162,000. So it's not as expensive as I made it out to be. But it's still pretty expensive. All of these towers are going to be just very expensive. So 43,000, 32,000, and 162,000. So we need about $250,000. Plus whatever the Paragon costs. That's just so we can get to the Paragon. The Paragon's going to probably be about a million dollars if I had to guess. Do we want to take a look? Do we? Let's... I'm... Ah. All right, let's take a look and see what... Let's see what the Paragon is. Out of order? Whoops, it broke? Unfortunately, the Spike Factory Paragon broke during development. This scrap prototype just prints a mess. It costs zero dollars. It's just, is it? 
What? What? What's happening? What is this? What, it's broken? It's borked? What do you mean it's broken? I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about this in the slightest. I, I want to speak to a manager. We're getting to the bottom of this right now. All right, let's get Carpet of Spikes, which just throws that everywhere. And then we... Look at that. That does so much damage. What a what a strong tower. It's very... It just spews them out all over the place. And we can get super mines. All right. It's free. It's literally the pair... This... It's free? What do you mean it's free? All right, well, if that's the case, we can get a bunch of super mines. Let's sell all of these. All right, and then... Because it might give us a higher degree paragon anyways. Uh, let's just assume... All right, let's just get a bunch of super mines. Is this guy literally no? He's not ready to put any super mines down. What a waste! What a waste of a tower for me. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. All right, uh, let's go ahead and buy whatever this paragon is then, and we can put it right here. Whoops! It broke. All right, let's. This actually will create a paragon spike factory. It just says out of order. Wait, what is that on? What is it throwing on the ground? Wait, what? Am I looking at? Wait, what the heck? It's throw. Oh, it's throwing everything on the ground. Look, it's literally sawed of swords glue. It's putting every single thing. It puts glue. It's literally putting. It's bro. It's not broken. It's a mixture of everything that you can put down on the ground. That's what it is. Holy cow, that's bonkers. It just prints a mess. So it literally, all it does is it just puts down every single thing that you can have on the ground. So look, wall of fire. It puts down all the Geraldo stuff too. There's the spike storm. There's... Uh, cow I see I see a picture of caltrops. I see cleansing foam. What else is in there? So, the, I saw the swords. There's there's bombs. Why are there there's bombs? All right, let's see what it does against BFBs. Oh, it pushes all the balloons back too. Okay, this is oh my gosh. All right, that kind of spooked me for a second. All right, let's see what happens against round eighty. Let's see if it can let's see if it can manage against a round eighty. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It just spews out just a bunch of junk. All right. That's all right. Let's go up against round 100 then. Look at this mess. Let's just got the glue down on the ground. Does it just destroy? Oh my gosh. It annihilates it. All right. Let's dare we try round 200. Let's just put round 200 through it. A fortified BAD. Let's see what happens. Oh my, oh my indeed. Holy cow, what am I even looking at? It just explodes, look at this. It's so satisfying watching them just go right through that and they just get annihilated. Well, my friends, that was the broken Spike Factory Paragon, which turned out to be absolutely amazing. It was just, it wasn't a combination of the three Spike Factories. It was a combination of everything you can put down on the ground at once. That was epic. If you want to see more of those types of videos, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for being beautiful. Thanks for being you.